This video is a follow-up video I did a little while ago that we're going to post in the comment section in the description of the video here so you can watch that about the supplements I take for my kidney health and this is what I was currently taking in the previous video I did my blood work and so this video is my blood work results. So thanks for watching. I'm Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, kidney transplant survivor and thriver going on uh, 18 years, very, very, 19 years, very, very shortly, okay, at the end of August. And I was only supposed to last, my transplant was only supposed to last like seven years. It wasn't a good transplant, delayed function, and I'm defying the odds because of my passion, my career, my life, and obsession with kidney disease. So my blood work came back. I wasn't expecting big changes, but I was hoping to see some good things from the current supplements I was taking that you'll see in the other video. So the changes are my creatinine lowered. Okay, my creatinine was 1.66 before, now it's 1.60. Not a big drop, not anything really to brag about, but it's better. Okay, and I was just hoping for any improvements on my lab. All right, second, my bun, my blood urea nitrogen came into a normal range. I talk about that in other videos too, about how to lower it. Now, I've always had a little bit elevated, sometimes it go normal, but it's been a little elevated for a bit. Even though I follow a lower protein diet, I do you know most of the things that I should be doing most of the time, it still was high. So I started taking uh, 300 billion probiotics per day, so it was the Renew Life brand. Renew Life is the brand, 150 billion probiotics. And I took two pills a day, and that was in addition to my kidney restore that I take which is a uh, 60 billion probiotic. So it's 360 billion. And I, um, I'm still taking only 150 billion, but that 300 got me into a normal range on my bun. Uh, my gut feels a little better, some of the minor issues I had. So that was one positive thing. And so the third thing that, uh, well, two more things that changed, my hemoglobin came into a normal range. Now hemoglobin is a marker of anemia. Now in my case, it's not because of iron. Okay, it's, um, it's just a side effect of the transplant, the medications, my kidney not making enough erythropoietin, a hormone, okay, that helps with the red blood cell production. And so I couldn't figure out why because the first time in, in all these years that uh, I actually was normal. Okay, so I went looking back at all the supplements and I take a lot of things. I take more than what most, most you'll ever find people who take supplements take. It's not what you have to take. Um, in addition to that, I take 16 pills of medications a day. Okay, so unless you're taking pills, there's no other way to help yourself. Pills, powders, liquids, you know, that's really what it comes down to. But so what I found was that I look back at my supplements, I'm pretty sure it's the cordyceps, okay, that brought my anemia into normal levels because I look back at a study on cordyceps and kidney transplants, okay, that I discussed in another video. And when I looked further at the study, there was a, a mention of helping anemia in the study that it was in. It's the only thing I can think of that really helped. And the brand that I use, okay, and it's a newer brand. I haven't been using it for that, that long, maybe about five months. Host Defense Cordyceps, okay? It's Host Defense Cordyceps. And another thing is I increased the dosage. Um, I was taking about 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams twice a day. So I increased the dose too from what I was taking from a previous blood test. And um, I think I have more energy. I had pretty good energy before. I think it's a little better. Hard for me to tell because I wasn't that low, wasn't that far away from being normal. So it also could have been all the antioxidants that um, I've been taking, I add uh, into my you know, daily routine, but most likely it's the cordyceps. So the last thing that improved was my protein, okay, my protein in my urine. All right, it was 600, where before it was 660. So that was 1,200 um, milligrams, okay, 1.2 grams a day that I was excreting in my urine was, was that uh, protein. And so through a blood pressure medication, a change by a new transplant nephrologist that I've been seeing, it lowered to around the 900 range. Um, and then now with what I'm pretty sure was just being really strict with my lower protein diet, it brought it down into like the 600s. Okay, it was, it came a little lower around to the 700, 660, it was 660 last one. So 600 now, that's a 10% improvement. It's not, when you think of the numbers, it's not big, it's not a great improvement. It's not gonna make a big difference. A lot of doctors will just overlook it. But to me, any improvements, good improvement. A 10% lowering in my protein, my urine to me, I'm happy with it. I didn't make major changes, do major things. Just switched up a little of my supplements. 
uh, and really watch my low protein diet. So that uh, was the results. I'm going to add some new things. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to do another video and do the before and after blood work and see from there. So thanks for watching, everybody, and to your best kidney health.